Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin and welcome to my April TBR. I happened to do very well with my March TBR, even though it was quite a big TBR, I still managed to pretty much smash it. I ended up putting a couple of books, I think it was two, I ended up putting a couple of books on my TBR that weren't actually on my official March TBR last month and you know what I feel great I feel great about that yeah I'm not gonna lie it just became a month of Agatha Christie for me because I just got literally obsessed saying that though I don't really have much room on this TBR this month to fit a whole lot of Agatha Christie on there but if I can I will there is one official Agatha Christie book in my massive TBR but other than that there is quite a range before I begin though please do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already but most importantly I need your help. I'm going to talk about readathons in a minute, but firstly, I do want to talk about Spring Flingoween, and this is happening from April 27th to April 30th. I am so excited. This readathon is hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads and Liv from Olivia Reads the Latte, and I am so excited. I literally, I'm gonna burst. I'm literally gonna burst. And one of the reasons why I'm so excited is because I have rented a cabin in the middle of the woods for this readathon. Yes, I'm hoping that I can read some very scary books in that cabin. I want books where I'm gonna cry because I'm that scared. So I need your help. I'm looking for two fantastic, amazing, terrifying books that you think I would, you know, cry <laughs> at while in a cabin in the middle of the woods. So I'm looking for isolating reads. Maybe a book set in a cabin, but it doesn't exactly have to be, unless it really is quite a terrifying experience. There were a couple of books I thought maybe of trying for this one. I was thinking maybe Stolen Tongues or Camp Slaughter. Not 100% sure though, but let me know. Let me know in the comments below what you would recommend for me to read while I go camping in the middle of the woods in a cabin. I'm planning on doing maybe one, maybe two Patreon movie nights while in that cabin, like horror movies, of course, and literally shit myself. I would absolutely enjoy that. I haven't shot myself in a while. Piss myself, but not shot. So yes, please do leave comments down below with all of your recommendations. I need the best. Okay, so in the month of April, there are two other readathons I would also love to partake in, and both of these are month long. So of course we have my babe, Book Roast. She is doing the magical readathon, Aurelium Spring Equinox, Equinox 2022. But I am really excited about that. And there is Realmathon, which is hosted by Covers with Cassidy. Also, I will not be telling you which team I'm on for Realmathon because I do not want to cause fights. I do not want to fall out with anyone. <laughs> I am scared for my life, so we'll not discuss that. I'm not going to do specific TBRs in this video for like, prompts and stuff. I do want to try and fit all of the massive books. <laughs> well, not all of them are massive, not going to lie, but the massive TBR. I do want to try and fit those into prompts for both of those readathons when possible. So lots to look forward to in the month of April. So let's get into my TBR. I'm so excited. I'm actually really excited about this one. Okay. So let's get into the big video project that I want to do in April. One that I think a lot of people know I'm going to be doing anyway. But that is the Goosebumps Series 2000 books by Errol Stein. Yay! I'm going back to doing another complete series vlog. I did the original Goosebumps books back in, well, September. Uploaded the vlog in October. And then I did Animorphs in January. And now I have 25... Goosebumps Series 2000 books, which I'm not scared about at all. So I finished the 54 Animorphs books in three weeks, and that is like double of this. So I really do think that I could end up finishing these in potentially two weeks. Fingers crossed. I think I can. I mean, there's so much less than the original Goosebumps, and that took me a month. Yeah, I'm not going to struggle. I don't think. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm not going to struggle. And I'm excited about these ones because these are going to be darker than the original Goosebumps books, which if you watch my vlog, you will know that I didn't 100% love that series, even though it is a nostalgic series for me, and it's one of my childhood favourites. But Goosebumps Series 2000 promises to be darker and scarier, so let's hope Arvel Stein delivers on those promises. And I'm excited to do another complete series vlog hopefully it doesn't last five and a half hours <laughs> so I'm not going to go through every single book and tell you what they're about that would take me an age however I will just briefly say the names of these books so I will be reading 
Cry of the Cat, Bride of the Living Dummy, Creature Teacher, Invasion of the Body Squeezers Part 1 and Part 2, I Am Your Evil Twin, say that a Brad Pitt every day, Revenge R Us, Fright Camp, Are You Terrified Yet, Headless Halloween, Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls, Brain Juice, Return to Horrorland, Jekyll and Heidi, Scream School, The Mummy Walks, The Werewolf in the Living Room, Horrors of the Black Ring, Return to Ghost Camp, Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid, The Haunted Car, Full Moon Fever, Slappy's Nightmare, Earth Geeks Must Go, and Ghost in the Mirror. So yeah, I'm going to try and read all 25 of those Goosebumps series to a thousand books and hopefully get the vlog up in April. I'm so excited about it. Genuinely think I'm going to love it more than the original Goosebumps series. Also in April, I will be reading The Troop by Nick Cutter and this one I will be buddy reading with Alison. I'm so excited to buddy read this with you. I'm also thinking of maybe making it my Patreon book club pick for April. When I played Play Your All Right Live with my patrons, this one did generate a lot of interest. So this could end up being a Patreon book club pick. I had probably better tell them that. <laughs> But this book I am so terrified to read but I'm so excited to read as well. So this one follows uh, Boy Scouts and they go to this island where they go hiking and camping and all of that. And then one night a stranger walks into the camp and dot dot dot. <laughs> no dun 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 dot 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 indicates something totally different. <laughs> and I have genuinely no idea what happens next. All I know is that it sounds scary. I also know Gabby loves this one so I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Another thing I'm doing with my patrons is that I am going to be reading a patron's favourite book every single month and filming an exclusive Patreon reading vlog reading that book and this month I used a random number generator and it picked Nina so thank you so much for submitting your favourite books Nina and the one that all my other patrons voted for out of your favourite books was Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. So yes I'm finally going to get to read Six of Crows, Leigh Bardugo. I've been putting it off for such a long time but now it is finally time to read it. This is part of the Grishaverse, I believe. It is its own duology with Crooked Kingdom, but I'm only going to be reading Six of Crows. I cannot be bothered with the second book. Okay. All I know about this one is that we follow Kaz and they orchestrate a heist and they need to go into this military stronghold that's never been breached. Kaz has a lot to work with. Kaz has a lot on his plate. Kaz has... What was that? So I'm going to be reading this and filming an exclusive Patreon reading vlog for it. So super excited to read it and super excited to start that series as well and to read more of my patrons favourite books. I think that's going to be awesome. And now finally I want to find out what all the hype is about on this one. Now we all know that the Heartstopper TV series is premiering on Netflix, don't we, in April. So it would be appalling of me. It would be a shame if I didn't read all of Heartstopper by Alice Osman in the month of April. And I've already read all of them, of course. I've only ever read them once though, and I read them when they came out. So it'll be really good to refresh my memory on the entire series and try and read them all at once. And I'd love to do a little reading vlog on it. And I'm sure so many more booktubers are gonna be doing this in April, but I'm seeing it right here, right now. This is what I wanna do. And I need more graphic novels on my TBR, so. These are gonna be really fun and easy to get through. Oh, I'm so excited to read them again. I love Nick and Charlie so much. Oh yeah, if you wanna know what it's about. So this is really about Nick and Charlie. They fall in love, they go to school, they find out things about themselves. It's just amazing. I love, love, love the series so much. And I go into it for the wholesomeness essentially. They are the only cutesy romances that I can actually handle. Any other ones will make me physically sick. The next four books were all part of the Play Your TBR Right Live that I did with my patrons. So of the four rounds, we won three, lost one. So the three that we won, I will talk about first. So firstly, yay, Agatha Christie! Agatha Christie, Crooked House. So excited to read this. Thank you so much, Jay, for gifting me this. Love ya. This one is more of an obscure... Agatha Christie, like I'd never heard of it before. I mean, I'm so new to Agatha Christie still and I'm eating it up, but I bet you there are Agatha Christie fanatics out there, Agatha Christie professionals, as you will, being like, Gav, that's one of Agatha Christie's most famous ones, what you're talking about. Well, I didn't know about it, okay? So if I didn't know about it, no one did. I'm joking, I'm joking. But I had never heard of this one before. So this one follows a big happy family in this mansion and the head of the household ends up getting a fatal barbiturate injection. That word is so amazing. I've never said that word out loud before in my life. Barbiturate? Barbiturate. So who administered that fatal injection? All suspicion falls on the widow, but was it really her? Who was it? Who was it in that big old house? 
Who knows? I don't know. But I'm excited to read this one. I might end up cracking the case. If you've seen my Agatha Christie vlog, you will know that I ended up solving the three of the four that I read. I mean, I figured out who did it, but I never found out how they did it. So it'll be really interesting to see if I can crack the case on this one. But I'm just loving my time with Agatha Christie and I just needed another one on my TV. okay? Well, also leave a comment down below if you think I should do a Christie Crime and Wine book club. I will also be reading The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. And this one, I have no idea what it's about. I just know it's a children's classic and a few people's favourite childhood books. And I've got this lovely, lovely little edition. And in the back it just says, look at my planet. It is directly above us, but how far away it is. Our context. I have no idea still what it's about. Do aliens visit? Is this about aliens? Okay, so it says it's the story of a young prince who visits various planets in space, including Earth, and addresses themes of loneliness, friendship, love, and loss. So that sounds really heartbreaking. Couldn't have picked a happier children's classic, could I? But yes, very excited about this one, and it's the beautiful Puff and Cloth Bound Edition, which I've been collecting. I'm also gonna be reading Gallant by V.A. Schwab. I forgot to put this on my March TBR because I forgot it was coming out. But now a few people have read it, a few people I love have loved it, so it'll be really interesting to see what I think of it and what side of the fence I fall on. So this one follows Olivia, who I don't think she has any parents, but she does get invited to live with her uncle in this very gothic, creepy house of Gallant. When she arrives at the house, she finds out that the Yetter is like, the Yetter? When Olivia arrives at the house, she finds out that the letter is actually quite a few years late. Her uncle is dead, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Olivia is permitted to remain but only if she follows two rules. Don't go out after dusk and always stay on the right side of the crumbling wall. So what does Olivia do? She's probably gonna ignore that, isn't she? Because all main characters do that. They just never do what they're told. But then how do we get a story? How do we get a story if they do as they're told? But I'm looking forward to this one. I'm hoping for some really gothic atmospheric vibes in this. And again, I've heard good things from some of my friends. And this is my first V.A. Schwab book in such a long time. I don't know if I'm gonna love it, but I do wanna give it a try. And the round that we lost meant that I have to read Alice by Christina Henry. I soft DNF'd this about three years ago, and I never really wanted to revisit it because I kind of fell out of love of the Christina Henry retellings. I did say that I wanted to get to this at some point. Well, now is the time. It really is just a twisted version of Alice in Wonderland. I guess that is the story. You know, she's been in this hospital for so long and I think a fire breaks out and she escapes and she now wants to find out what actually happened to her years before. I believe that's a plot. That's what I remember-ish from what I'd read. Can't even remember where I got up to. I don't think I made it very far. I just wasn't feeling it at the time. Yes, it will be nice to try and finish this one after soft and effing it and crossing it off my list. I have a horrible feeling that I've missed something. A horrible, horrible feeling that I've missed something out. I don't know what it is. But that is my official TBR at the minute. <laughs> we'll see if anything changes as we go on. But no, those are the books I definitely want to read in April. Definitely going to read all the Goosebumps Series 2000 books. Do expect another future length film next month. And yeah, I'm so excited. Don't forget to leave the comments about the, you know, the horror book recommendations. But that's it. That's it for the video, I believe. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons for being incredible and amazing and beautiful people. If you want to join my Patreon, there is a link down in the description box, as well as links to my social medias if you want to check me out on any of those. But I do hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.